Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll be exploring 5 different video tools you can easily use to help create your next social video. First, we have YouTube's Video Builder. In this free to use tool, you can select the templates that you want to use from the options available. You'll be brought to a new page where you can start customizing the look of your video. Here, you can select brand colors or any other preferred colors that you want to feature in your video. And then, you can also select an image that you want to use as your logo. For this particular layout, only two images are required. They also tell you the recommended dimensions and style that these images you upload should portray. Next, you can add the text that you want the video to have. Because the layout I chose is for a short 6 seconds video to introduce a brand, I can only enter two lines of text. The number of text areas should vary according to your templates that you choose. Next, you can choose a font. Depending on the fonts you have installed, you probably have a wider selection than I do. And then there's music. The tool also specifies the kind of mood each music portrays. You can press create and that's it. Wait for your video. As you can see, a linked YouTube channel is required for you to save and publish your video ads. And there you have it. The next tool we have is Vimeo Create. Because we use this often, we do have a paid subscription. Some of these features that we show might not be available on the free version. When you first log into Vimeo, you can select the Create tab on the left. You'll be brought to a page where you can either start from scratch or create a template that you want to use. There's a white selection that you can choose from. Today we'll be using this one. As you can see, nearly everything is customizable, which gives you a lot of control over your video creation process. The text color can be changed. You can pick from the color palette or a whole new color if you want. You can also scale the different sizes of the text. You can also move it around wherever you like. There's a bar at the bottom for you to toggle between the scenes. And you can also easily replace the media in your video. Choose from stock images from Vimeo's library. Or you can also upload if you want to. Today I'll be using the stock images. Once you've replaced it, you can also preview how it would look like. At the toolbar on the left, you can change the style of your video if you want. There's quite a few options for you to choose from. You can also add music to your video. There are a few recommended options and you can hover over them for a preview before selection. Move to the All Music tab if you don't like the recommendations. Likewise, you can also hover over them for a preview before you select them. You can also toggle the format of the video. Or even change the overall colour scheme according to the colour palettes provided. You can also add your own brand colours. You can easily delete a scene that you don't want. And you can also easily edit the text just by clicking the text box. Create a preview.
you can click the finalize button at the top which allows you to add a title and toggle privacy options. You can also go back to edit if you want. If not, finalize it. And done. Wait for it to upload. You can also distribute the videos straight from the Vimeo Create to your linked social media channels like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Next up, Bitable. Here we're using the free version, so we might lack some premium features. When you first start creating a video on Bitable, you'll be brought to a page where you can easily search for a template that you want to use. Even on the free version, they offer stock footage. To better show the capabilities of this app, I'll be using this footage that comes with the template I've chosen. It's an option for you to edit the text, as well as the selection of fonts that you can choose from. There's a next scene button that I can click to proceed to the next scene in the video. Likewise, you can change your text, change your font, the final scene for this template is to upload a logo as well as a text box to add the company tagline. You can always add more scenes if you want to. Alternatively, if you made a scene you don't want anymore, you can easily delete it. Next, you can go and pick the colors. There are color palettes for you to choose from. Next, choose your audio. If you don't want any, you can pick none. There's a pretty wide selection that you can choose from, as you can see. They're also sorted according to genre. You can upload a track if you want to, but it has to be less than 100 MB. If not, I'm just going to go with none. The next step is to preview your video. Press play, and there you have it. As you can see, the free version is watermarked, so you have to subscribe to a plan if you want a watermark free version. Here at Click to View, we use Lumen5 often, so we have a subscription plan. Some of these features that we show might not be available on the free version. When you first start creating a Lumen5 video, you'll be brought to this page. You can turn your own content into a video with a blog or script, or upload your own media. Alternatively, you can also skip this step and create a video from scratch. Next, you can choose a video format. Lumen5 recommends video dimensions according to social media platforms that you want to post them on. Today, we are going for an Instagram story. Next, choose a theme. We have designs for the new year, or we can explore designs that were available last year. If you are new, there will be instructions on the left, as you can see, to guide you to creating your first video. That's actually where the text for your video goes. On the right, we have a preview of the video. If you go to the media tab, you can search for images or videos from the built-in library according to keywords. Hover over search results to see them play, and click on it if you want to use it. The preview on the right will change. Click on the text if you want to edit it. You can easily adjust the text size add a subtitle if you want. You can also reposition the text wherever you like. There's also an option for you to highlight keywords. If not, you can preview your frame. You can also toggle through layouts for your video. Take 
click on the new layouts that you want to use. There's also a call to action format, which is useful if you want to direct people over to your website from Instagram. The length of the video is adjustable. On the music tab, you can also search for free audio tracks according to the mood that you want. You can also press play to preview them before selecting. If you have second thoughts about the style that you've chosen earlier, you can always go back and change it in the Style tab. There are quite a few fonts for you to choose from. You can change the colour of your text, or even the colour of your background accents. Save. Publish. And there you have a video. The last two that we're showing is Animoto. Here, we're using the free unpaid version, so some features might not be available. When you first start creating a video in Animoto, you'll be brought to a templates page. They're sorted really nicely according to themes. Today, we're going for an About Us video. Right at the beginning, you can upload the media that you want to use, as well as a logo, which is what I'm going to do. Next, all you need is to drag and drop your media onto the frame in the storyboard. You can also now open up each individual frame and make edits to the text. You can also adjust the size of the text. I'll turn on the legibility tool so it's easier to read the text. Same goes for the next frame. Drag your media, drop it in. You can fix your text and write whatever you want. If you decide that you don't want a particular frame, you can always delete it. The delete button shows up when you hover over the image. Here, I'm going to add another frame before moving on to the last scene. Similarly, drag and drop. On this last frame, I'm going to add the company logo. Drag and drop, and if it doesn't fit, you can always adjust the crop. And then change the background. Finally, you can preview your video. If you're satisfied, you can press the produce button, add the title of your video, the date, produce your name, you can also add a description if you want. Once you're finished, your video will load and you can see how it looks like. So on a free version, your videos will be watermarked as you can see.
the bottom of the page, there are options for you to share your video. There's also a tab that allows you to download them. If you want the best resolution, you need to upgrade your free account. That's it. Thank you for watching our video.